We would like to invite you to watch the English news on the Essential Television Channel of Domnai Province. Ladies and gentlemen, on April the 18th, the 10th day of the third lunar month, Prime Minister Fei Jin and many leaders attended the ancient offering ceremony to commemorate the Home Kings at Gunting Palace, belongs to the Home Temple Special National Historical Relic Area, Futa. With a sincere heart of gratitude to the ancestors' merits, demonstrating the Vietnamese people's moral principle of where eating fruit, think of the person who planted a tree, Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chin and other leaders of the party, the state and Phu Thọ province offered incense and flowers, expressing deep gratitude to our ancestors who have built the country so that our descendants can continue the La Home tradition to build Vietnam as rich, beautiful, and civilized as it is today. In the sacred moment of the ancestor anniversary, millions of hearts of Vietnamese people at home and abroad turn towards Home Temple with a respectful heart to remember and express gratitude for the merits of the Home Kings. Our predecessors that have contributed to building and defending the country. The incense offering ceremony commemorating Home Kings is the most important main activity in a series of events during the Home Temple Festival and the Ancestral Land Culture and Tourism Week in the Year of the Dragon 2024 to honor patriotic traditions and arouse the morality of when eating fruit, think of the person who planted a tree, and the strength of great national unity towards the origin, gratitude to the ancestors' merits, at the same time, preserving and promoting cultural heritage values associated with tourism development in the homeland. Vietnam's export fruits and vegetables in March reached 470 million USD. In the first three months of 2024, the export value of fruits and vegetables reached 1.28 billion USD, up 31% over the same period last year. This is the first time in the first quarter of every year that fruit and vegetable export turnover reached over 1 billion USD. Experts predict that this year fruit and vegetable exports will grow even more because more growing area crews and packaging facilities may be issued, creating favorable conditions for export. This industry could set a record in 2024. Also related to economic activities, According to Vietnam Electricity Group EVN, gas power plants want to commit to mobilizing long-term output, but this can cause financial risk, putting pressure on electricity prices. Specifically, in a recent report sent to the Prime Minister, Vietnam Electricity Group said it had negotiated a power purchase contract with the third and the fourth Nyongrad gas power projects and started negotiations with a full gas power plant. However, they encountered problems because they could not agree on the broader consumption rate, that is, the commitment to mobilize electricity output from these plants. According to EVN, gas power investors always request to agree on this ratio at 72 to 90 percent for the entire contract term. However, EVN believes that accepting this condition will pose the risk of increasing electricity prices. There are about 10 days left until workers' May, May 2024. These days, many unions have organized activities to care for union members and workers. At Hona Industrial Park, Trangbom District, from April 11 to April 21, 2024, the District Labor Federation organized a shopping market for workers in 2024. Accordingly, this year there are more stores participating in the fair than in previous years, with a total of over 50 stores. 
including essential necessities, household goods, clothing, and so on, with prices reduced from 30% to 50% compared to the market, attracting a large number of workers to shop. Along with discarded shopping at the 2024 worker market, workers in the bomb industry also participate in games with brothers as well as participate in healthcare consulting, labor law consulting, social insurance policies, and free haircuts. In addition to these activities, during this year's Workers' Month, the Mom District Labor Confederation also organized many programs such as men's and women's soccer tournaments among workers, campaigning to give health insurance cards to disadvantaged people, visiting and giving gifts to workers suffering from labor accidents, and organizing workers' markets. As Bruce said, China may further militarize the South China Sea after the U.S. deployed a medium-range missile launcher in the Philippines, a system capable of breaching mainland China and Taiwan. The U.S. military announced on April the 15th that it has successfully deployed the mid-range capability MRC missile system, also known as the Typhoon Weapon System on the island of Luzon, northern Philippines. This is the first time such a weapon system has been deployed in Asia-Pacific. Mr. Colin Ko, senior fellow at the Rajaranam School of International Studies in Singapore, was surprised to see the MRC deployed in the Philippines instead of another U.S. ally like Japan. He said that the deployment of the MRC in Luzon places the balance of power between China and the U.S. Philippines in the region, adding that the MRC can cover China's military targets in the South China Sea and on land. This will keep tensions in the South China Sea from decreasing and China may increase its presence in the region. At the meeting on April 18th, the UN Security Council also held a vote for a resolution to recognize the Palestinian state through UN membership, but the resolution was not passed due to opposition from US. The United States vetoed a draft resolution recommending to the 193 member United Nations Trail Assembly that the state of Palestine be admitted as a member of the United Nations. Britain and Switzerland abstained, while the remaining 12 council members voted yes. U.S. Deputy Ambassador to the United Nations Robert Worth argued, the U.S. vote against does not reflect Washington's opposition to the establishment of a Palestinian state, but instead an acknowledgment that it will only come from the red negotiations between the parties. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas immediately condemned the U.S. move, saying the country's actions challenge the will of the international community, which strongly supports full membership of Palestine. That's all for news English for today. Thank you for joining us and goodbye.